Hey guys, it's your coach Greg D here back with another video and today I want to talk about a little bit of information that I've been listening to and picking up on because I'm listening to Darren Hardy's The Compound Effect as my latest personal development. This is actually the second time that I've gone through the book and obviously when you go through things a second time you tend to pick up on different things, more things. So I'm going to bring a little bit of information to you in hopes that you can learn something, you can maybe implement it, as I have actually started implementing some of this information today. So I'm bringing it to you in hopes that you guys can learn something. So what I want to talk about today is taking 100% personal responsibility for all of your actions and all of your choices. Now, the reason why I think this is really important is because when you are able to take 100% personal responsibility, I think that you sort of clear out some emotional stress. You clear out some mental stress. I think that when you're honest with yourself, like 100% truthful with yourself and other people, um, you know, your spouse, your family, your friends, your business partners, I think when you are 100% truthful that you do lift a whole burden of stress off your shoulders. I know that you know sometimes we're afraid to be totally honest with ourselves, totally truthful with ourselves because we don't want to let ourselves down. We don't want to let those other people down, your family, your friends, your business partner, your spouse. But I think that when you can take personal responsibility for your actions, you can make huge, huge strides because when we do take small actions, to move ourselves forward. Well, even if you are taking small negative steps, as Darren Hardy mentions in the, in his book, they can be compounded to move you one way or the other because whether you're aware of it or not, small little choices can have a huge impact. Now, they may seem insignificant in the present time or even a day from now, maybe even a week from now, but in the longer term, they are going to have a huge impact. So, what I'm suggesting here is that if you want to be successful, and it doesn't matter what it is, if you want to lose some weight, become a bodybuilder, if you want to move up the career ladder, you want to start your own business, you want to go back to school, you want to improve any of your relationships, whether they are personal or business, what I'm suggesting is, is being aware of even the smallest little choices that you make towards that goal. Because one way or the other, you know, we tend to get into habits, and habits can be very hard to break the longer they go on. But what I'm suggesting here is that when you are consistent with little choices, whether you are conscious of them or not, they are going to compound and lead you one way or the other. So what you really need to do, and for example, food journaling is a good idea of this, especially if you are someone who wants to lose weight or gain muscle, is like a, become a bodybuilder or whatever. Keep track of your food, for example, and then at the end of the month, you can, if you, let's say, wanted to lose 10 pounds, but you only lost five, you go back in your food journal and you can say that, okay, well, twice a week I was eating a carton of ice cream, and but the whole other, the whole rest of the week, I was fine. I was really clean. I was eating really healthy, and I did really good. So that one little small choice of I'm not going to eat ice cream that's those two days out of the week can lead you the next month to lose that 10 pounds instead of five. So as you can see, it's those small little choices that we make that can have the biggest impact. So I really want you guys to be aware and track, write things down if you need to. Like I said, if you are trying to lose weight or build some muscle, you know, keep a food journal. If you are trying to save some money, maybe build up a retirement fund. Start saving away money and keep track of everything that you save. Keep track of everything that you spend and you can go back and see where it is maybe that you're spending money that you don't need to. Maybe you don't need to buy that $4 cup of coffee every day from Starbucks because over a year that can end up costing you, you know, in, well actually in 20 years that can end up costing you over $51,000. So think about that right there. If you want, like I said, if you want to save some money, but you are someone who is buying a Starbucks cup of coffee for $4 every day over 20 years, you're spending over $50,000. So think about basically the fact that you are taking money out of your future self's pocket, $50,000 worth. So 
that's really the idea for this video is you need to take personal responsibility no matter how hard that it may seem in the end it will benefit you to take personal responsibility because you are able to know what you're doing wrong you're able to fix it to move yourself closer to your goals and therefore down the road compounded being consistent with these actions of being aware and making the right choices you know you can thank yourself a year from now two years from now five years ten years and even maybe as, as soon as you know 30 days six months depending on what we're talking about here is maybe it's the the weight loss or the financial situation or whatever it is but you want to be personally responsible for all of your actions be aware of all those little choices that you make and you will succeed. I promise you that. So with that, guys, that's the video today. Like I always say, where there's a will, there's a way. And I'll see you guys soon.